Hey guys, and welcome back to another Weedy Fun Pops. Great to have you with us again. Thank you for joining us. Uh, this time we are doing one of our stack of BAM horrors. So hi guys, thank you for joining us. us, us, us. This is not getting any better. Welcome. And thank you for joining us again to unbox this BAM horror. It's been a long time since we've unboxed one and we're really excited to get stuck in. BAM horror, made by BAM obviously, by fans, for fans. We, we really usually enjoy the BAM boxes, don't uh, we? Full disclosure on this. Yes. We did open this when it arrived. We did? Exactly. It was... Um, Probably eight or nine months ago, I'm guessing, on this oh, box. Oh, blimey, has it been that long? Oh, dear. So, so, yes, we may have opened this eight or nine months ago to see what was inside. I have absolutely zero recollection of what's inside this box because I have problems with my short-term memory, which makes this very handy. So, my reactions will be <laughs> as if I had never seen the contents before. Ta-da! Anyway, let's crack on. Okay, so on the top of the box, as always, we have our lovely sheet of shiny BAM paper. Not entirely sure why they put that in there. Do you think it's to preserve the element of surprise? Yeah, that, that's, that's all. And okay. wrapped it so it looks good. Okay, this is, this feels interesting. This is wrapped in bubble wrap. It's small. It's, it's a, what is that? Um, it's, it's, it's cool. I'm going to put a picture up there so you can see better. It appears to be a snake coming out of a creature's, some kind of gargoyle frog's mouth. Intriguing. Okay. It looks familiar. I don't know what it is. I'm thinking, we shall wait until we get to the cheat sheet. I I think I've got an inkling as to what well, this, it you is. You know more about horror than me. I'm I'm only recently uh, starting to be introduced to um, horror, you know. And when I when I say horror, I mean you know the old style horror films like The Shining and things like that. I don't mean modern gore fests, which I really don't enjoy all that much. Okay, so this is a this is a pin of a chap standing in front of what I can only look, say looks like Stonehenge. Now is that is that is that Wicker Man or something like that? Possibly. Possibly. Again, I'll pop a picture up there so that you can see. It's it's a very it's a well made pin. I mean, beautifully nice clean enamel double. Double pin on the back for security. I just, nope, it's not, it's not ringing any bells for me. I'm probably going to feel very stupid about that. But anyway, let's crack on. We have got, ooh, we've got, okay. So this is, this is unmistakably Negan from The Walking Dead. Um, however, However, I will put a closer picture so you can see that is not Negan's face. I'm sorry to the artist, but that is not a really good Negan's face. So, you know, maybe maybe this is based on Negan from the comic, from the graphic novels, rather than from the TV series. I don't know, possibly. But yes, um, you know, there's the picture, there's Negan's face. Yeah. Okay, what else have we got? What else have we got? Oh, Peter, it's your favourite. Do you want to find out how much we've lost? It's the BAM Scratch Card! BAM Scratch Card time, everybody. Let's see how much we've won. Okay, what else have we got in here? We have our... Right, we have ourselves a print... So this will be the art print. Um, and again, I, I 
now it's it's a very cool print. I like the artwork. I like we the artwork. Win. It's really cool. Huh? We didn't win. Oh, we didn't win. Oh no! Shock, horror, surprise. Um, yeah, I like this. I like it. It's 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 interesting. I have no idea what it's about though. I don't know. I don't. Any ideas? I'm guessing it's one of the Living Dead movies, but. Okay. Well, we shall soon find out. So here we go. We've got our various lovely bits and pieces. Anything else? There should be something signed, I believe. That's yeah. what we usually get in a band box. So is yeah. this the signed item? <gasps> uh, Ta-da! Uh, Ta-da! Is is, this, this looks Blair Witchy to me. That's Blair Witch. This looks very Blair Witchy. It's very blurry. It's very indistinct. You know, it's got that sort of handheld old camcorder vibe to it. And of course, it's got a big witch's hex or something in the hex symbol in the middle there um so i would not be at all surprised if this turned out to be a blair witch autograph so that should be everything from this box now just to find out what who our celebrity is and what we have in the box i'm going to go and put pop my glasses on so that i can actually read this so let's have a look what have we got um our celebrity autograph what bugs me out is that we're so damn deep in the woods and people are going to try and cut to come out here and mess with us then they gotta have something wrong with them and i'm not gonna play with that August's autograph. August. Oh, so this is August's band box from last year. Wow, that was a while ago. Um, August's autograph is Mike from the Blair Witch Project. Yes, I got one right. Uh, played by Michael Williams. So Mr. Williams is here and will feature larger there. Okay, what do we know Mr. Williams from? We know him from Law and Order and from something objective something drift of, i don't know it objective i don't know right the collector's pin uh oh i was right it is wickram oh, two for two okay so enjoy this month's awesome throwback wickerman pin set by the artists behind creative terror whilst most people will receive the Wicker Man himself. Others will receive variant pins. Sergeant Howie and Lord Summer Summerisle? Summerisle. Okay, yes. So uh, we have actually got a variant pin. We have a variant. We have an uh -huh. upgrade pin. We uh -huh. get the upgrade pin. And I got it right. I'm so proud of myself Which right now. It? Um, it's the coloured Lord Summerisle, I think. Right. Yeah. Okay, so Artist Alley. So we need to have a look at the back. How many is it from? Oh, I don't know. You have a butcher's at that. Okay, Artist Alley. So check out these awesome designs from brand new BAM artist, John Vogie. Enjoy this creepy poster style Day of the Dead design and variant. You were absolutely right. Three for three. Excellent. Oh, ow. Wow. Okay, so... Peter checked out the back of the pin and we have number 53 of only 99 pins. Awesome! Awesome! Awesome sauce. Right, the artist select card. Uh, continuing our sketch card villain series is a Walking Dead set by artist Josh C. Lyman. Check out our community to find out find the one of one hand drawn sketch cards this is not hand drawn no no it is not this We've is a, had print. a hand drawn anime one we have a thick yes screwing, yes screwing they do the they do the protector thingies yeah okay well yes i mean i have i have said what i have to say about this card personally um yes is it recognizable as negan yes um would I be impressed as hell if a teenager did this? Yes. Is this the kind of level of artistry I expect from uh, a band box? No. Sorry. 
I know that's, that seems mean, um, but you know, this, this, artistry wise, is amazing. This, not so much, sorry. I I'm gonna be honest. I'm always going to be honest about how I feel about the contents of a box. Your thoughts, Peter? Um, you haven't done the prop. Oh, oh, the prop, um, the prop, the prop. I think the prop is from Stephen King's Desperation. Desperation. This month's prop is a smaller and therefore less terrifying replica of the awesome guardian pillar creature from Stephen King's Desperation. Directed by Mick Garris. So there you go. It is the awesome, awesome guardian pillar creature. There was a Chinese temple in a mine, I believe, and that right. was from there. That that does look oriental in nature. I will try and find a bigger picture of said item. I'm blinding you with my glasses. I will try and find a bigger uh, picture of said item over here, so we can oh, throw it around. Throw it around and. Break it? No, it's not broken. I didn't break it. At least it's that. At least I didn't break it. Um, so yes, okay, so guardian creature. I will try and find you a picture of the guardian creature. It's a nicely made prop. It's it's quite light. It's quite light, as demonstrated by me throwing it around. Um, but it's got a nice sort of bronzy finish to it, and uh yeah. It's pretty cool. Okay, Bam, well. Out of one, two, three, four, five items, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm pretty chuffed with four of them and I'm not going to have a go at the card again. Uh, um, eBay values total, you're looking about £55. Really? And the box is about £38 delivered, so... We've got to do values on any of our previous uh, the previous videos, didn't we? We did. No mind. But it's <sighs> anyway. difficult to get values on <clears throat> some of those items. Yeah, so very cool band box. Hope you enjoyed going through it with us. And if you have, please do the thing. Everybody asks, I know, but I really, we would really appreciate it if you subscribed, liked, rang the bell, did the thing comment on what you thought of the contents of this band box and whether you would be happy if you had paid how much 38 pounds 38 pounds if you had paid 38 pounds for this would you be really happy or would you have something to say about it anyway thanks for joining us once again i've been amy he's been peter and we've been willy fun willy fun pops bye for now